Welcome to Snowy Anastasia, and today we are going to create an infinity scarf with a hidden side seam pocket with an invisible zipper there. So you can keep all of your cash and your phone hidden inside of your scarf and you don't have to worry about bringing a purse with you. This video is a part of my gift giving guide for 2022. So make sure you check out the playlist so you can see all my other gift giving ideas. You're gonna need a few supplies for this project. You're going to need some cozy fabric. I'm going to be using a polka dot flannel today. And you're also gonna need an invisible zipper for that hidden pocket. Now my fabric for my scarf is going to be 20 inches wide and 60 inches long. And we're also gonna need two pieces of fabric for our pockets. And I've made these 11 by 11. And I've got an invisible zipper right here. I've got a 10 inch invisible zipper. So you can customize the size of the scarf. You can make it narrower, you can make it wider, you can make it longer, you can make your pocket bigger, you can make your pocket smaller. So you can totally customize the scarf to be just perfect for you. But I love these widths. I find them to be really comfortable and easy to work with and wear. The first thing we need to do is sew in and position our invisible zipper with our invisible pocket that we're creating. Now, if you don't know how to put in an invisible zipper at all, make sure you check out my video on that so you can get a thorough review on how to put in the invisible zipper. Otherwise, I'm gonna go over it step-by-step step for the invisible pocket. To position my pocket, I'm going to measure 12 inches over from the end and I'm going to place my zipper face down, and then I have my pocket right side face up. Just to go over that real quick. So everything is always right sides together. And we have an invisible zipper here with the right side face up. And I need the edge of the twill tape on the edge of my fabric. So that means I have to flip the zipper so that the right side is face down and the twill tape is at the edge of my scarf here. So this is where the position of our zipper needs to be. Now we need our pocket to also be attached to the invisible zipper. So what that means is that we need to sandwich that zipper in between the scarf and the pocket. So we are going to place our pocket right on top of our zipper. And now when we sew, we're going to be sewing through all three layers. And if you wanted, you could sew down your zipper and then come back and sew down your pocket after, just so that way you're not working with three layers at one time. So let's go sew that together. So I put my all-purpose zipper foot on and I have the needle position moved over to the left and I have the zipper foot clicked on to the left so that way I can sew real close to the invisible zipper teeth. So I've got my scarf, my zipper, and I'm putting my pocket right on top. Now we are gonna sew through all of these layers at the same time. And the nice thing about using the all-purpose zipper foot is that you can feel right where the teeth are. Don't forget to back stitch. Just keep everything nice and lined up. So all the way down to the end of your fabric, back stitch and cut. If you're enjoying how to make an infinity scarf with a hidden side seam pocket, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. They come out a few times a week right now. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to creating that infinity scarf with a hidden pocket. So let's take a look at the zipper in the pocket that we just put in. So you can see we have the invisible zipper here and we've got the pocket here on the inside. Now I used a bright red zipper so that would be really easy for you to see. And so if we unzip it, imagine it's closed up here, our pocket will be in here. So now what we need to do is put the zipper on the other side of the scarf. So what we're going to do is fold it over so that way we know exactly where it needs to line up on the other side. And now we know that the zipper is going to be right here on the other side right sides together so make sure that twill tape is towards the outside of your fabric and the zipper teeth is towards the inside of your project and then you're going to take your other pocket square right side face down and just place it in the same position as your other one on the other side and then we're going to go over to the sewing machine and sew that up now i'm going to be sewing down the other side of the zipper here and i've got those three layers the scarf the zipper and the pocket Back stitch at the end and cut. 
let's take a look at the other side of the pocket and what it's looking like right now. So I now have both of the pocket bags attached to the scarf. This is the inside of the scarf right now. So you can see the wrong side of the invisible zipper. And then on the right side, if I flip it out, just so you can see it, you can see that red invisible zipper, which I left there. So that way you could really, really see it. You could also get way closer to the invisible zipper tape if you like, but I left it further away just for this demo so you could really see it and kind of understand what we're doing. Okay, so we wanna leave it with the wrong side face out here. And now what we want to do is close up this scarf and make it a scarf, right? So we are going to start at this end and we're going to sew down and then we're going to sew around the pocket bag. And then we're going to continue our way about halfway down and then we're going to backstitch and we're going to leave about a six inch opening. And then we're going to continue sewing up that seam. I'm going to be creating a half inch seam on the scarf here. I'm going to be using a bright red thread so it's easy to see. Make sure you're sewing a half inch down into the pocket and then leaving your needle in and lifting up and turning. When you get to the corner, leave your needle in, lift up and turn. When you get up to the top of your zipper, make sure your zipper's unzipped so the zipper pull is out of the way. Needle in, lift up and turn. Now we're gonna work our way down the other side of the scarf here. Now I'm gonna leave that six inch opening for later. So I'm gonna do a couple back stitches and cut. And now we're gonna move down about six inches. We're gonna start out with our back stitch and continue all the way down. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. So here's the exciting part. We are gonna turn it right side out and give it its last few finishing touches and then we can wear it and try it on. So you can see we sewed down, around the pocket here and back up. We left our opening and then we continued right down the scarf. So now we can go ahead and turn it right side out through either opening, doesn't matter which one. Okay, check that out. Okay, so now what we need to do are connect these ends and we can do this through the opening right here. We need this opening to be able to turn it right side out and then we'll go back later and finish up that opening. Now what we need to do are sew the two ends together so that way we can create an infinity scarf. It's just gonna go around and around and around forever. Now what we wanna do are take the two ends and place them right sides together here. And now you know that hole we left, that opening? I want you to take your hand, put it in there. And what we wanna do are grab these two seams here. We want our two seams to line up I like to do this like I do a bathing suit lining. So I'm gonna grab them, I'm gonna hold them so I know where I have to sew them and I know they're right sides together right now because I have them placed right sides together. And then we are going to pull this out of the hole. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and just sew these two layers together. So I think that's the easiest way to understand how this scarf is gonna turn into an infinity scarf. So trust me. So let's go and sew up the circle now, and then we're gonna pull it back out of that opening, and then we're gonna finish up that little opening with an edge stitch. And then we'll be done. It's that easy. I'm gonna create a half inch seam allowance, and I'm just gonna sew all the way around the circle, making sure I back stitch at the beginning and the end. Back stitch at the end and cut. So now we have the circle here sewn up. So what we need to do is just go ahead and pull it back out of that little opening and check that out. We have got an infinity scarf. How cool is that? We have one step left and that's closing up this opening here. So we are just gonna pull it so that way it's nice and closed up and those little seam allowances are tucked to the inside. And we're just gonna do a neat little edge stitch closing up that opening. So we're just creating a little edge stitch about a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge here. 
and I am doing it in red so that way you can see it, but you should use a matching thread and then you'll never see it. Back stitch at the end and cut. We did it. We finished our infinity scarf and it has a pocket. Can you believe that? So we can go ahead and put my phone in there. We can zip it up and it's gone. Check that out. Here it is. We did it. We made our infinity scarf and I've got my zipper right here. So that way I can open it up and get to all my goodies right here in front of me. Maybe I'll sneak some snacks into the movie theater. That's an idea. Thanks so much for watching Sewing in the Stage of today. I hope you had fun making an infinity scarf with a hidden side seam pocket. So cool, right? And it's got that invisible zipper in it. I love it. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you thought about this video. And I'd also love to know what other kinds of videos would you like to see? Leave that down below in the comments for me. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Twitter and TikTok and all the social media websites, make sure you follow Sewing Anastasia that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois. You can also take them virtually as well. So if you need help with your project at home, book some time with me and I can help you one-on-one -on -one with your project. All that's available at SewingAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.